Hello. I know it's been a minute. Well, not really a minute, but I know it's been a minute since I probably should have did this reaction to Jaden's animations. Just saying, I got a cat. Just period. Just says it. It's actually on trending, actually, which is really cool. Number 16 on there. Over 5.5 million views. Over 530,000 likes. I haven't seen this, but it did show up on my notifications. It's just either I've been busy or I've just been doing something else. And I'm like, you want good time to do it? I mean, it's a little later in the day. But hey, check out the original. And yeah, thanks for the support and chill. And besides that, let's just get into for it. For people who have been around for a while, you might be seeing the title and thinking, Jaden, aren't you allergic to cats? And yeah, to that, I'd say, say yes. Yeah. Kind of. I'm actually kind not of. sure anymore. And for the people Wait, who what? know anything about me, you might see yeah. the title and think, Jaden, cats yeah, are the, literally the, the number fuck. one natural predator no. to birds. And to that, I also say, yes, that one's 100% proven fact. Yes. So let me back up a bit Obviously. and explain how we got here, because all the cards in the world were stacked against the idea of me getting a cat. Growing up, I was Ooh. irrefutably and absolutely allergic to cats. My best yeah. friend had like three of the things, and every mm. time I would hang out or sleep over at her house, I would be a sneezy, watery-eyed, snotty mess. Mm. Uh oh. Can I have some water? Oh Given God. the fact my brother was also allergic to cats, it oh. was set that we were a dog family. Yes. My whole life I went hives. around not giving cats a second thought. I never had anything actually against them, but since mm -hmm. I was forced to stay 20 feet away from them or suffer the consequences, I just mm -hmm. couldn't get to know them. Plus, as a Fair. kid, dogs were always more appealing. They're more mm -hmm. likely to be bigger fans of playing and running around, be more approachable with their genetically bred unconditional love, and can can overall True. be more forgiving. Cut to like mm -hmm. two catless decades for me later and I'm two meeting Jacob for decades. the first time at his place. As we're oh, hanging out Jacob. in his living room, his cat Fraser comes over and greets me. Oh. Fraser is extremely social and vain, so he's always expecting nothing less than a <laughs> oh, never ending daddy. stream of attention from the people. Even though he's very cute and distinguished, I mm -hmm. deployed my typical foolproof plan of don't touch the cat. Fraser realizes what? he's not getting any attention out of me and sits down mm. nearby on the couch. But a bit later, Jacob's other cat ends up making an appearance. Oh. This one's Taylor. She's normally really shy and hides, oh. but does really like women which oh. I am. Taylor ended up crawling onto me and making herself oh. really comfy in my womanly lap. Jacob, mm. knowing I'm allergic, offered to take her away, but this was actually the first time a cat has ever done something like this to me. I've always been a bit of a cat magnet, if you want to oh, call it God. that, because I act like they don't exist, which mm -hmm. they interpret as me not pushing their boundaries and creating a comfortable hey, cool environment guy. for them to yeah. come up to me on their own terms, but never mm -hmm. have I felt like a cat has chosen me like this before. I told Jacob yeah, I'm happy to let her stay comfortable on me and I'll just reap the consequences of my sewing later on. This was yeah. my first extremely positive experience with the cat and I nice. honestly felt really happy and special and wanted to enjoy it. A few hours nice. later, I'm saying my goodbyes and during the drive back home, I realized I was completely fine. No sneezing, yeah. no itchy eyes, straight up That's nothing. I was really so confused cool. and curious. Thus, the start of my little cat experiment began. Whoa. Every time I went over to Jacob's place, I would let the cats be as social as they wanted with me. If Taylor mm. wanted to sit by me, I'd let her. If Frazier wanted attention, I would pet him. At one point nice. while we were watching a movie, Taylor literally decided to lay down on my neck, filling every one of my breaths with cat dander and hair. And you know what <laughs> happened? No uh, reaction, not even a little nice. drip of mucus. Somehow, sometime, I'd grown out of my cat allergy and never noticed. Apparently every nice. seven years, people's allergies have the chance to change. Maybe being surrounded by okay. my friend's uh, cats all throughout that. my That's childhood really cool. could have helped my body get more familiar with them. Either way, I've now unlocked the skill to survive cats. Really? Oh guys, it was incredible. Now that I've been <laughs> freed from my shackles, I immediately 
really started taking time to get to oh, know cats like more. So Instantly, oh, they felt so much more right, cute right. and cool and approachable and all. Oh, so, so, I was like, really starting to like them more, especially since like every time I would hang out at Jacob's place, Taylor would walk over and be around me and purr and, oh, it was amazing to be loved by a cat. So I really like cats now. It and after great. some time, I decided one I fun. wanted one too. Jacob and I decided to peruse a local cat rescues website just to okay. see what cats just were available. I don't want to get one right away. There's a lot I have going on, but it doesn't hurt to- Oh my god, that one. I want that one so bad. It's so cute. What's its name? Tostada? Tostada! Tostada, my beloved. We have to send in an application. We have to. Hi, my name's Jane. I love this cat. Please let me adopt it. Please, 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 please. What? You guys know me. I'm weak-willed and impulsive. My first mistake was liking cats to begin with. The rescue reached out a few days later for a cat screening interview to make sure we would be a good fit to be cat parents. After being okay. approved, they told us we could pick any cat we wanted that was in their care. Of course, I asked about Tostada, but we were given the unfortunate news that she had already been adopted. Uh, no! We looked at the other cats available on their website, but unfortunately, none of them really stood out to me. The rescue mm. ended up inviting us to a little meet the cats event they were hosting okay. where we could see all the cats they had up for adoption in person, nice. which was awesome because that was actually the first time I'd ever actually seen and held a kitten before. It was amazing, but as Kittens cute and really tiny cute. as they all were, there still wasn't one that called to me. I pried Jacob away from the kittens, headed home, and we started waiting. Chihuahua. Every day I would check the rescue's cat okay. list to see if any new ones caught my eye. I didn't even know what I was looking for, but Who's waited for cat? the universe to send me my perfect cat nonetheless. One morning I refreshed the page and uh, saw awesome one new kitten added. A tortie they found in some dumpster named Scrabble with the Scrabble. biggest eyes and forehead I'd oh, seen in my really, life. Something really about cool this eyes. bizarre little creature called to me. I messaged the rescue about Scrabble and they told me she's available, putting me in touch with Scrabble's foster parents. Every day they sent me new little pictures of kitten oh, Scrabble really and cute. every photo I fell more and more in love with her. She seemed so silly <laughs> and blush, playful and those eyes. We got on a video call and they told me all about how big of a personality she has. Out of the five other kittens they were fostering, she was nice. by far their favorite. The whole time we were talking, Scrabble was flipping around in their arms and looking at the camera with her giant orbs. I left that <laughs> call knowing I found my cat. I <laughs> needed to have little kitten Scrabble. Yeah. Meeting her in person only cemented it. She was shy at first, but after flinging around her worm toy, she immediately started hopping around and being the life of the party. I talked a mm -hmm. lot to her foster parents and they just gushed about how they wish they could keep her since they all loved her so much. Mm -hmm. Even though the rescue called her Scrabble, obviously that was more of a placeholder name. The foster parents called her Cammy, but neither of those really fit to me. However, I knew one name that I liked. Tostada. Yeah, I stole oh, another kitten's name and pasted it wow. on mine. So what? Big deal. Tostada is a great name. My Tostada is way more of a Tostada than the other Tostada anyway. Look at her. I would have left with little Tostada in my arms that moment if I could. But unfortunately, really? Jacob and I were going out of town for three million weeks and had to wait oh, to take her home until after the, we came back. She was Japan all I could think for... about the entire time. I was mm. shoving Tostada photos in everyone's face every chance I got. The foster wow. parents were sending Tostada updates every day. I was overflowing awesome. with yearning for yeah. this cat. She was growing and learning about the world without me. Take me home to my child. Literally, the moment <laughs> Jacob and I landed, we drove straight from the airport to the oh foster home nice to pick reference. her up. I could not wait. We arrived home with plus one Tostada. I nice. couldn't believe it. I have a mammal now. And sorry, other mammal owners, but it's wow. the best mammal in the whole wide universe. Nice Jacob and I spent the entire day <laughs> playing oh with her, memories. letting her get used to her new surroundings. She was so cute and so tiny. Here's a video of her eating wet food with a big old chomp. As someone who's owned oh, birds chomp. for seven years at that point, mm -hmm. it felt so strange to have a pet that was significantly less fragile and also draws significantly less blood. You mean this thing can't fly up and get hit by the ceiling fan? Oh Insane! I've had Tostada for a while now. She's two years old at the time of me posting this. And let me tell you, this thing has become a creature. First of all, eyes, 
still giant and she never blinks look at this she was sitting oh my on my God. desk looking like that long enough for me to notice get my phone out of my pocket pull up the camera app put the camera in her face and take a photo and here's like four more. She is also wow. not that smart. I'm sure you can deduce that by how she looks, but this thing has a single brain cell and it's just another version of herself up there with a Inside joystick. Out. Jacob and I are fully convinced yeah. she can only form a few thoughts a day and only in single word nouns. Evidently, Tostada is also very scared of everything. Always has Wait, been. Really? Loud noises, quiet noises, no noises, movement of any kind. Even Jacob, a person she's been around all her little life post dumpster there's been times where he'll be at his desk moves his chair just a smidge and she's darting out of the room one time we were trying to explain to some friends how skittish she genuinely can be and demonstrated it by grabbing a toy literally in front of her raising it up a bit lightly dropping it on the floor still in front of her and she bolted you know how cats oh are genetically built to be good at balancing mm -hmm. well tostada can't even do that she trips and oh. falls and misplaces her feet all the time on multiple occasions, she has tried to walk across my L-shaped desk and just missed and fell down. That's like oh. the one thing that makes a cat a cat. And nope, doesn't hit the mark there either. She's gotten better, but as a kitten, Tostada couldn't even jump. After I built oh. her her first cat tower, I watched as she attempted to jump up to the second level, not quite make it, and had to slam her arms down on the thing to hoist herself up like she was oh. mountain climbing. But oh, is she the sweetest little thing. When I got She's a cat, I was expecting it to to want its own space, come mm -hmm. around when it wants, you know, general cat things. But this creature follows me from room to room with those high beams of hers. She sits <laughs> on my lap while I'm at my computer, lays on my giant Pokemon plushes, mostly oh just looks up at me from the floor and just stairs. When I'm sleeping, she'll just crawl into bed and tuck herself up right next to me. Oh. Look at all these photos of her straight up on me oh, when wow. I'm sleeping. That's don't look too close though. I don't have makeup on. Bedtime is sacred so to her. Good. She loves bedtime. If I'm working late, Tostada will come into my office around 9 or 10 p.m., aka past Tostada bedtime, and just start crying, scratching on my chair, rolling around on the floor. It's pitiful. And if I still don't move after that, she'll go into the bedroom and drag over her string toy she always plays with. It, it's just so sad and pathetic. I always play string with her when she brings it over though, don't worry. But lately she's picked up another routine habit, which is pats. Not all cats like the pats, but Tostada lives off them. It's when you just slap a cat's butt and it looks like you're hurting them, but they actually love it. However, Tostada's really particular about pats. First of all, I'm the only one allowed to give her pats. Jacob has tried and she runs away scared and offended every single time. Second, she has to receive pats on a specific spot on the floor of the closet. If I try to give her pats in like my office, she bolts to her floor spot, staring at me to continue them over there. Also, she begs to be pat every single night. Like clockwork, she'll sit like a gargoyle in front of the closet and cry pitifully until I come over there. Now, when I finally come over for pats, she'll flop on the floor and start horizontally okay. rock climbing her way across what? the floor with Are her claws me, and tangle herself up in the ethernet cables while wow. I keep up the pats. You think I'm joking, okay. but I'm very much not. This is the only way she accepts pats and I have to okay. give them to her every night or else she's miserable. Tostada's world is so small. She's really just around me, Jacob, Taylor, and Frasier, but she loves her simple family so much. Mm -hmm. When Kitten Tostada first met Frasier, she was terrified of him. She'd been around other adults cats before, but she'd never seen a flat cat in her life, and she was mortified. Of course, she's since warmed up to him, and they play together and hang out all the time, they're best friends, but Tostada loves Taylor. Always has. She looks up to Taylor like a little baby sister. <laughs> Once again, I'm sorry. Just... Let's just get into it. Warmed up to him and they play together and hang out all the time, they're best friends. But Tostada loves Taylor. Always has. She looks up to Taylor like a little baby sister admiring her cool, awesome older sibling. Unfortunately, nice. 
Taylor hates it. They literally oh. have a SpongeBob Squidward type of sibling relationship, oh. and Tostada is so oblivious to it. Taylor has annoyingly swatted at Tostada so many times just <laughs> for existing around her that Tostada now thinks it's a fun little game they play and oh. will start chasing and swatting back at Taylor happily, not understanding cat social cues. Of course, never in a way that's too far, but just enough to get on Taylor's nerves even more. Between the three of them, they all have such different little personalities and relationships to each other. It's made our lives so much more entertaining. And to anyone concerned about the birds, don't worry. I've got Ari and Tofu very separated from the cats. Good. They're safe in their own blocked off room connected by okay. a double door system that ensures oh. no possible interaction between <laughs> bird and cat. No. If anyone is thinking about getting cats and birds as pets, it is possible, but just make sure the two are very separate, especially yeah. if you have that smaller birds like Conyers or Budgies. I'm sure uh -huh. there's people out there that have trained their cats to be fine around a pet bird, but <laughs> to me, all it takes is one accident or attack for you to just not have a bird anymore. Plus, having uh -huh. the two of them takes a huge amount of time and commitment. I've said it before yeah. and I'll say it forever. I love my birds to death, but they do not make good pets for the very large majority of people. In terms of allergies, Fair. I do think I was originally still a little bit allergic to Tostada, ironically. When I first got her, I was sneezy <laughs> and sniffling. Nothing allergy pills couldn't fix, and it never was as bad as my original cat allergy. But mm -hmm. I think I've been growing out of that one too, because nowadays I don't have any reaction to her at all. Bodies are a mystery. I am building my immunity to <laughs> everything. Next up is rat poison. I didn't think oh, I would make a video talking no. about this thing, but Tostada's just got such a funny little personality and has become such a big part of my life. She may be the description of autism, but I love her more than the world itself, and I, I know mean, I'm the center of her little life, too. too I don't even see her as a cat. She's so, just a little creature so that follows me around looking yeah. weird, but I love it, and That's I'm so really... glad I grew out of my cat allergy just so I can have her. Mm -hmm. It really has been so different owning a cat, mainly because I know Tostada won't just bite me at any given chance, unlike some avian oh, creatures. The Thanks for push. watching the video. Heads up, I'm going to be announcing new merch again soon, so be on the lookout for that. The last drop went so well, and I'm really glad that so many of you guys enjoyed <laughs> well, yes. it. I'm so excited to finally be getting back into making fun merch, uh, and it really helps me out a lot. All right, sorry. Thanks. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you. Just wow. This is totally. You could tell she when she used to describe the cat's paying habit. Aren't you allergic? Like that has ever stopped a cat order before? Yeah, it's really cool. You'll be a mother three. I mean, yeah, that's true. Pretty much. That's yeah. I like how 139,000 lights. That's literally the most light comment on here. And, and the fact that she hearted is awesome. Oh, wow. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in total, there's it's more because freaking, uh, yeah, they have a, yeah, this one. That's kind of why it was like it kind of fits. Uh, yeah, she, because if you count together, like they have all, they also have like the two other cats so they have literally three in total it's crazy it's really it's really cute i know i probably looked really cheerful and i just love just like cats and whatnot just animals in general yeah that was really cute and yeah thanks again for trying this out i hope i'm, I'm really sorry about all the pauses i just kept on hearing stuff and i was like i just want to make sure but yeah thanks again for trying this out make sure to leave a like subscribe turn on for you to miss any of thanks for the support and besides i'll see you guys in the next one Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.